Okay, so I'm about to show you how easy it is to upgrade the storage in your PS5, which I believe is a necessity if you wanna have a lot of games ready to go and to be able to play on this thing. So shout out to our sponsor for today's video, which is Samsung, and they sent over their brand new 980 Pro with heatsink. So this is a PCIe 4.0 NVMe M.2 SSD. I know that's a long name, um, but this is one of their latest and greatest. It has very super fast read and write speeds, but most importantly, this does have a built-in heat sink that Sony highly recommends that you use on a M.2 SSD that you put inside of the PlayStation 5 to help manage the cooling. And real quick, before I get this installed, I do just wanna admire how good this SSD looks. And yeah, I know, we're about to put it inside of the PS5 and cover it up, and we're not gonna see it again unless we wanna upgrade in the future, but I think they made this look really, really sleek, and I like the way it looks. And that's just me geeking out over it as a, a tech nerd. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. And so the first step you wanna do is to make sure you unplug all of the cables um, out of the PlayStation 5. So the HDMI cable, the power cable, get all of those things unplugged. And then you also wanna make sure you ground yourself by um, touching a piece of metal that is grounded. So you wanna do this to make sure you don't like touch anything on the inside and short circuit it with like a static electricity charge or anything. But now after that, you do wanna take the side of the PlayStation 5 that has the PlayStation logo and you wanna make sure this is face down. So I'm just gonna flip this around just like this. And then now we need to take this cover off. So the way you wanna do it is that with your left hand, you wanna kinda of pull, and then with the right hand on this corner, you just wanna kinda of lift up and it comes off that easy, simple as can be. And so now here's our first look inside of the PlayStation 5 and look how nice and neat it looks. So yeah, we're gonna be working in this area right here and the first thing we need to take off is this heat shield. So you need to take a number one Phillips screwdriver and then now you just need to take off this screw. So you just wanna twist away and get that off of here. And you do wanna make sure that you pay attention to the screws and stuff that we're taking off to make sure you don't drop them in the fan or anything. So just be careful with that. And so now we just need to lift off this heat shield. Just get your fingernail under here and boom, that comes off like this. And then now we need to take our screwdriver and take off this screw and the spacer underneath it. So just go ahead and twist this off. And again, be very careful not to lose the screw inside of the PlayStation 5 and my screwdriver is magnetic, so I can take it off just like that. And then now we just need to take off this spacer and you set these two to the side. Now, M.2 SSDs do come in at different sizes and you'll see those sizes indicated here on the board. So we have 30, 42, 60, 80, and 110. But the Samsung 980 Pro with heatsink does come in at 80. So we need to take that washer that we just took out and place it right there at the 80 mark, just like that. And then now we can take our M.2 SSD and get this installed. So basically on this side right here, you just wanna place it in at an angle and it'll kinda just kinda automatically slot in there. And then now you can press Press it down and make sure it gets into place just like that. And then now you wanna take that screw that you took out before you remove the washer and you place that back in there and you take your number one Phillips screwdriver and you just get this thing screwed in nice and tight. Not too tight, but tight enough. And then now you wanna take the heat shield here and you wanna get this back installed. So you just basically place this right there, cover that up. And then now you take that screw that you took off with that and then now we get this screwed in too. Oh, and I also just noticed that on this screw, it does have like the, uh, um, the button logos here for the uh, PlayStation 5 controller, so that's pretty cool. All right, so that is nice and tight in there. That's the hard part, right? It was pretty simple, but that's the hard part. Um, but now you just need to take the, the cover that you took off and you wanna kinda just place it on there and then you wanna push it over from, uh, in my case, from left to right and you hear that snap and then boom, that is it. This is the hardware part of the install. But now there are a couple of things that you need to do to go ahead and finish this up and I'm about to show you that right now. Okay, so now your next steps are to plug in your PlayStation 5 back into your TV and also the wall. And then when you first turn it on, you greet it with this screen that's gonna be telling you some information about your M.2 SSD and what you're about to do. And basically what you're about to do is to format it. And format is gonna be basically erasing everything on it and then getting it ready for the PlayStation 5 to use. So you have an option to not format and turn off the PlayStation 5. Of course, you don't wanna do that right now. But now we're gonna hit this format M.2 SSD 
press the X button and then this is gonna take just a couple of seconds here to go ahead and format and then we'll be ready to go to go ahead and move some games over to it. And boom, just like this, you will see that this is telling me that the read speed of my M.2 SSD is as round like what, 5,700 uh, megabytes per second. And the PlayStation 5 is liking this speed, so I'm going to hit OK. And now let's let me know that it's been formatted. And then now I hit the OK button and this is going to take me to the home screen. All right, so boom, now we're ready to go ahead and move some games over to our M.2 storage. So you just need to go into settings and then you go down to storage. And then now you wanna go down and see that you do have this new M.2 SSD storage option right here. But if you are trying to move a game over from the PlayStation 5 to that storage for the first time, you need to go to console storage and then go to games. And this is gonna pull up all the games that I have. And I'm going to move over Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and I'm gonna go ahead and select items to move. And on this screen, it's gonna be showing you how much space you're getting back on your internal storage in your PS5. And you can see there, I was on the brink of not having any storage there. So I was hurting a little bit, um, but then it's also gonna show you how much space you'll have left on your M.2 SSD after the move. But yeah, anyway, just go ahead and hit that move button there. And then now it's gonna be having you confirm it and I'm going to hit okay. And then it's gonna be going through this process. Now, what are read and write speeds? Well, basically read speeds are how fast can the PlayStation 5 read the, the game that I have stored on my M.2 SSD? And then the write speed is how fast this process is right now, uh, as far as like how fast it is to move a particular game over to the M.2 SSD. Boom. There we go, just like that. So that took basically like 35 seconds. And now we can go back and go down to M.2 SSD storage. And now you can see I will have my Spider-Man game on here. And now I have that extra space back on my PlayStation 5. Now I should be able to just launch this game like normal. All of my saves, all of that information is already ready for me to go. So I can pick up and start playing just like I left off. All right, so I got the game loaded up here. It's been a while since I played uh, Spider-Man here, so it's good to get back into this. But the main thing that you wanna see here is that the game shouldn't feel any different from when you had it originally stored on the PlayStation 5's internal storage, and that is the case. And so yeah, most importantly, the load times were just as fast as they are normally. And I would say that just with the read speed of this 980 Pro, which is up to 7,000 megabytes per second, which is really insane, and the write speeds are, are I think, are like around 5,100 megabytes per second, second I mean you're getting some top level performance with this and again what we're looking for here is for this feeling me playing this game to feel as normal as possible and that is the case so I'm satisfied all right so let's get a little bit more technical about this 980 Pro so when you get this thing inside of your PS5 there will be no thermal throttling no system warning or shutdown and you get silent play while on the PS5 system even inside of a rack now in order to minimize the effect on reliability Samsung set the thermal throttling of the 980 Pro heat sink at 82 degrees Celsius. But the competitors set it higher than this, and you should know that the PS5 stops working at 85 degrees Celsius, so you can see where that can become a concern. And do note that the maximum temperature of the 980 Pro was 64 degrees Celsius, while competitors were at 86 degrees Celsius. All right, so look, as I said in the beginning of this video, I think upgrading your storage for your PlayStation 5 is a necessity, especially, look, we're gonna be keeping this thing for many, many years, and I hate having to, like, like uninstall a game because I want to install another game. And as games are getting better and better, they're also getting bigger in file sizes. So something like this uh, 980 Pro uh, with heatsink from Samsung here, it's definitely going to be a nice welcome addition to every PS5 out there. And I think this is also a really good gift idea. So if you do know a gamer out there that does have like a PlayStation 5 or something, and you know they haven't like upgraded their storage, if you get them something like this, especially with the read and write speeds that this does have, uh, I think they're gonna jump up and give you a hug because uh, uh, storage is definitely a number one concern from people and the two terabytes that you get with this is going to make everyone happy and so down in the description box for this video i will be putting links for this drive in there so you can definitely click on that link check it out buy one for yourself or buy one for someone else um, but yeah again shout out to samsung for sponsoring this video but i'm about ready to get out of here so i'm about to take my controller here and and play some games on my ps5 um, but for right now i do want to thank you for watching this video if you have any comments or concerns leave those down below and also make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll get notified the next time I upload a video and also smash that like button if you did like this video. But yeah, let me get out of here. So thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.